ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವತ್ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವಧಿ ತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿಷಾ ವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಪಾರ್ಥಯ ಪ್ರತಿಬೋಧಿ ಭಗವತ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಸ್ವಯಂ ವ್ಯಾಸೇನ ಗ್ರಥಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಮುನಿ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಅದ್ವೈತಾಮೃತವರ್ಷಿ ಭಗವತೀ ಅಷ್ಟಾಧ್ಯಾಯಿ ಅಂಬತ್ವಾಮನುಸಂದಿ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತೆಷಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವರುಣೇಂದ್ರರುದ್ರಮರು ಸ್ತುಂವಂತಿ ದಿವ್ಯೈಸ್ತವೈ ವೇದೈಸ್ಸಾಂಗಪದಕ್ರಮೋಪನಿಷದೈ ಗಾಯಂತಿ ಸಾಮಗಾಧ್ಯಾನಾವಸ್ಥಿತ ತದ್ಗತೇನ ಮನಸ ಪಶ್ಯಂತಿ ಯೋಗಿನ ಯಾಂತ ನ ವಿದುಸುರಸುರಗಣ ದೇವಾಯ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ದೇವಾಯ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ audible yeah so today as i mentioned i wanted to summarize this uh, this one third of the bhagavad gita that we have studied and the reason for summarizing 1 to 6 why not summarize 1 to 3 or 1 to 4 or 1 to 5 if you ask the reason for this is the first six, six chapters covers one topic the next six covers another and the next six covers another okay that is why and uh, so before coming to study bhagavad gita we may not have been exposed to the shastram before and we may not have known much at all and so we may have heard some statements about the vedas about mahavakyam etc but then brahma vidyayam yoga shastra so that brahma vidya is there and vidya is knowledge and brahma vidya is knowledge of brahma and knowledge of brahman means there is something to be understood in the bhagavad and so it is not going to be a bunch of stories that this is a clue the stories are all over so puranas ramayana mahabharata all these things are stories which are very important for us and thanks to all the stories we have heard we are now able to sit here and you know able to understand the context of all those stories so so mahavakyam tatvamasi so the, the the teaching of that mahavakyam is the content of the bhagavad gita so tat tvam asi tat that you are that that is how it is 
translated that thou art like that they say sometimes so but the point is you the jiva is that that which is ishvara which is the whole world which is brahma okay so you are brahma that's all that is the in one line if you want to say what is the teaching then that's the teaching that's why it's called mahavakya okay and <clears throat> so in that the tatvamasi it turns out that predominantly the theme of the first six chapters is tvam tat tvam asi there are three words in that equation in that phrase there are three words and tat that tvam you asi are so first six chapters predominantly talk about talk about tvam and then the next six chapters talk about tat tat is the theme brahma ishvara that is the theme that is why vishwarupa darshana yoga etc chapter 11 all that you find so about ishvara it's not about jiva and then last six is asi equation between jiva and ishvara essential identity and that is why we are spending some time to to recap what happened in these first six chapters <clears throat> okay that's the background <clears throat> and uh, so we know what started off this bhagavad gita chapter 1 arjuna vishada yoga and uh, so here was a man who spent so many years in the forest and every act of his cousin and uh, duryodhana was an act of adharma every act building up building up building up and on top of that these fellows have to suffer i have to go and stay in the forest that fellow is the cheat and so i should be in the kingdom i should be sitting on the throne here i am sitting and i am in the forest and uh, we are you know life in the forest is not easy and uh, this is this is the this is how it is the turn of events is is like this and every pandava is every day they wake up this is the reality they wake up to i am suffering for no fault of mine correct that is the thing that's uh, it's gnawing at every pandava and every day they wake up and uh, that too this uh, draupadi said that uh, i will not i will not tie my hair i will all keep it flowing the until the day the insult that i suffered is avenged she makes a shabadam like that shapat kiya hai draupadi ne and so every time they see her her hair they are going to be reminded of duryodhana only correct that's the humiliation they faced <clears throat> and so so we know all that <clears throat> and uh, so now this man is ready the day has come the d day has come and uh, after all this yes he comes and then he says come on he, for, he forgets that Arjuna, krishna is you know you have to this is a way of talking to krishna and he says come on krishna take my chariot keep it in front of the in between the two uh, army so i can see everybody that's all it started pratham sthapayam ichchuda and uh, in fact a quiz question for you when did uh, krishna start speaking in the bhagavad gita suppose i ask you yeah lakshmi uh, okay second chapter so anirudh says second chapter so lakshmi nagesh is going to tell us something go ahead and unmute yourself yeah yeah okay he he speaks in the first chapter just to yeah. one line where is that uh, i i will tell that you is, okay so that is in verse number 25 okay 25 so this is the, this is the answer to this quiz question not second chapter <laughs> it is, it is uh, rishi kesham tada vakyam idam aha mahipate no no wait 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 one minute one minute no, no, no. 25 second 25, line of 25 second 25, line of 25 second line. Yeah. so i'm going to mute you again yeah lakshmi so that's the quiz answer to the quiz question so you won't see bhagavan uvach and all that okay so if you look at 25 carefully भीष्म द्रोण प्रमुखता सर्वेशां च महीक्षिताम संजय इज टेलिंग ऑल दिस ओके संजय इज टेलिंग 
all this in response to Arjuna's uh, command. What did Arjuna say in the 21? Senayor ubhayor madhye ratham sthapaya nechuta. Achuta. Come on, between the two senas, you please keep my chariot. Take my chariot there. And then Sanjaya says, and then in 25 he says, Sanjaya is reporting to Dhritarashtra, right? And then he said, Uvacha partha pashyaitan samavetan kurun iti. Iti means quotes, correct? Within quotes, okay? Okay, Uvacha. Uvacha means said. Who said? Arjuna said just now. But then Uvacha, he partha, it says. Who would have said he partha? <laughs> so within brackets, you have to put Bhagavan. Bhagavan Uvacha, he partha, etan pashya, samavetan, etan samavetan kurun pashya. Look at all these assembled Kauravas. Now the ball is in your court. What do you want me to do? Right? Iti. So that, that's a quiz question. And I'm to, at 11 o'clock, I'm going to be talking to another group of students. So I may put this question to them. Let's see. <clears throat> so anyway, so th this, is, this is the Arjuna that comes. And within seconds, 26, there's not much time there. 26, he says, Tatra apashyat sthitan parthaha pitrun atha pitamaha. He says, he sees people who are his, in, in his parents' generation, means cousin, his, his uncles, and then uh, and then Pita Maha, even people who are his grandfather's generation, including Bhishma. Bhishma is the greatest Pita Maha for them. And then Acharyan, Matulan. Um, okay, he sees them. These are the only people he sees. Shwashuran, etc. Big list of relatives are given. This list of relatives. Okay. And then, so may so say, and then not only that, and then in uh, 34, again he repeats the same thing. Arjuna Vacha, look at the next whole chapter, remaining chapter is all Arjuna Vacha only. And he's lamenting. He says, Acharyaha, Pitaraha, Putraha, Pautraha, uh, Pautraha also. People in his grandchildren's grandchildren generation are there fighting. Why? Because Duryodhana wanted numbers. He's a man of numbers, you know. Some people are number-oriented people. <laughs> they will sacrifice quality for numbers. And anything, lowest price, go get it. Somehow or the other. Buy two, get one. Or rather, buy one, get two free. And that means just run and don't think. And... Uh, so that kind of a person. So, so he hired everybody. New recruits. Puja Swamiji would say. Recruits who don't even know how to button their shirt. Okay. That kind of people. They, they are wrong. You know, buttons are on like this. One cross. You know, it's like that. So those kinds of people he saw. And, and then his heart just melted. He said, what, time, what is the situation I am getting into? Correct? And uh, so... And chapter uh, 2 also, he says that. Fourth, fourth shloka. Katham Bhishma Maham Sankhe Dronancha Madhusudha. So finally, it all boils down to this. His gurus are standing right in front of him. Hey, Guru Hatya and uh, Go Hatya are considered the greatest crimes a human being can, can commit. Okay. Go Hatya, because God, him, cow is a harmless animal. And so there is absolutely no chance, no reason for us to kill a cow. And Guru Hatya. Mahavaki Upadesha Karta is a guru. Of course, here they are not, Bhishma is not a Mahavaki Upadesha Karta. Bhishma is a guru, overall guru. He is the guide for the entire family. And Drona, etc. Okay. And so, this, this, what is the conflict he has? On the one hand, he has come, he has, he has, his powder is dry. He's been drying his powder for the last 13 years and ready to fight because that's the right thing to do. Maybe it should have been done a few years earlier. Maybe a decade earlier, it should have been done. And now I've been pushed to this situation. That is dharma, call of duty. And for a, for a kshatriya, there's nothing, no better time than this. This is on one side. 
on the other side other side this this uh, this affection affection is there if i arjuna star strangers there he will not have had this problem Strange. We have no problem with strangers, right? We are all very objective when it comes to strangers. Only when the conversation is between brother, sister, father, mother, children, this is where all problems arise. Very ironic, is it not? Where we should not have problems, we have problems. Where we have can have problems, we don't have any problems. What a what a life this is, you know. And uh, so, so uh, this is the problem. emotions are pitted against dharma relationships and emotions pitted against call of duty correct that is a, that is a classic problem and, uh, and that's why we say it is everybody's problem it's everybody's problem and so uh, <clears throat> so therefore he became sorrowful sorrowful and uh, dharma belongs to the jiva belongs to the human being duty belongs to the human being relationships belong to the human being okay emotions belong to the human being and emotion john bradshaw one psychologist from houston says emotion is e motion energy in motion is called emotion like that he says and so we nobody can ignore emotions he can't say no dharma and then no all the emotions keep aside and it's not easy now why do we have conflicts because we have emotions and we we know what duty is that's why we have conflicts and so that that conflict belongs to the jiva the, the, the desire for to be free from conflict belongs to the jiva ishvara does not have any conflict okay ishvara doesn't have any dharma also okay and ishvara there is no question of sorrow shoka shoka samvigna manasaha says says sanjaya and vyasa and that person is is just filled with grief the whole body is just a body of grief shoka samvigna manasa the mind is filled with grief okay that grief belongs to the jiva and the need to be free of grief also that desire belongs to the jiva the human being therefore this is this this uh, bhagavad gita starts with the lot arjuna's lot and uh, which is our lot also correct this is our lot it is our problem also and uh, and so so in this case arjuna decides he is not even going to fight the war he says there are two things that will happen if i fight this war two things will happen what will happen i will be victorious no doubt there is no chance i am not going to leave this battle as a loser now he has no doubt that's not his problem he says i will win i will there will be lot of bloodshed and uh, all my relatives will be lost will be gone that's the kind of society i'll create that's number one second thing that will pro- have happen is I, i will have a lot of blood in my hands the rest of the life i have to live with the guilt that i finished off the society all the widows they are all widows because of me this is the guilt i have to live with rudirat pradigdan correct that is what it says in uh, in uh, i think 146 or two a uh, two five second chapter second chapter chapter beginning is a continuation of the first chapter okay because teaching does not begin until 11 or 12 hmm. and so in 46 he says what is sixth shloka of the first chapter he says yadi maam apratikaram ashastram shastra panaya my god he is saying it is better dhatrashtaha rane hanyu tanme kshemataram bhave it is better if i just go and stand in the middle of the battlefield with with, with, with uh, no arms and let dhatrashtas just kill me just shoot arrows at me and let me get finished off this is better he says arjuna speaks like this okay and uh, this is how this is a this is a fate of arjuna at this point this is a state of arjuna not fate state of arjuna and uh, and then <clears throat> uh, 
Swamiji makes an important point here. He says, this is not a psychological problem. What is the psychological problem? Psychological problem means there is some, some problem in thinking. There is some problem, uh, the, the emotional weakness is there due to some wrong upbringing. And there is all kinds of guilt and hurt and there is utter confusion and uh, inability to deal with basic, basic situations in life. That's emotional problem. Anger and so on and so forth. No, Arjuna had no such problem. He also had a good self-esteem. He did not have to prove to anybody that he is the greatest warrior. See, all these issues he did not have. He did not have the need to be recognized anywhere. All those problems he didn't have. Therefore, this problem is not a psychological problem. Very interesting. And, uh, <clears throat> and, then, and then Arjuna also was born in a culture that valued this Brahma Vidya. For, and his own father left the kingdom. This, the children would remember that. And so my father left the kingdom. He was a great king, Pandu. And Pandu left the kingdom just like that one day. How can a king just leave like that? That happened. So he's the son of that kind of a father. And so he knows that. There is a value for people. There are times when people will just give up whatever they have. That idea he knows. And so this, these things are not new. And he knows that uh, there is something to be understood. And for that, one has to give up everything. And then go after that one thing. Okay, he's aware of all these things, and so he already knew there are some problems that can only be solved by by going to a guru. That's the idea. He doesn't know what it is, etc. He doesn't know exact details. He doesn't. Nobody will know the details. That's how it is. This is ironic thing. Nobody will know the details. Just a few words, Brahman, etc. We may know, and Tattvamasi we may know, but besides that, we may know Ishvara is here in my heart. God is in my heart. We might say all these things, but that's all superficial, correct? And so, so even Arjuna knew all that superficially. And then, and therefore, he, he says in that, uh, uh, <clears throat> is about to say that I want to be your Shishya. And, uh, And he said that two, in the seventh sloka, right? Karpanya dosho pahatha svabhavaha Prichami pam dharma sammuda chetaha Yashreyasyan nishchitam bruhi tanne Nishchitam bruhi Please tell me Tell me for sure what is good for me Shreyaha So here Shreyaha can mean Just tell me what is the right thing for me to do Should I fight or should I not fight? That kind of Shreyas but he has already given a big list of things why he should not fight. And he is, in fact, better arguments than Krishna also can give. He has given. Okay. And the whole first chapter is filled with great arguments. And I'm going to, I'm not even going to go to heaven, he says, if I do this. And uh, this society itself will suffer and this and that whole list he has given. Okay. And, uh, and then he says, Shishyasteha. See, if we have a psychological problem, if you need some advice from somebody and you want to go to a doctor, a specialist, you don't go and tell them, I want to be your student, you know. You know, you just state your problem and tell me the solution and that's it. Let's get done with it, okay? I have, I'm busy and you're also busy, okay? And so, that's the way it is. This man says, Shishya Steham, I want to be your student. And, uh, and so, so therefore, there's already a connection made there. And so, I, you are my guru now. You are my guru and I want to learn something from you. And I know, I know that this is, this is not an acute problem. This is a chronic problem. What is the difference between an acute problem and a chronic problem? All doctors, we know this. Acute problem, I don't know the exact definition, but acute means something that is bothering me now. And I need a treatment just for it now and later on it will go away and then we don't have to worry about that problem. But chronic problem is something that keeps on bothering me. Keeps on bothering. Somebody has asthma. Asthma. In India, we say asthma. In America, I was confused. Asthma, asthma, they used to say. Asthma? What happened to all the letters T and H and all that? 
you just followed it all asthma asthma so here is asthma everybody will understand what asthma is and so this asthma chronic asthma chronic means this bad breathing problem every year, every week every month even every day bothers so at the nerve crisis there is a chronic problem the time has come the chronic problem did not bother me all along and now uh, but it has a potential to bother anybody and so and it will bother not just arjuna but every human being in this world and so that problem is is approaching arjuna is recognized and arjuna is surrendered to sri krishna chadi maam tvam prapannam he says he uses these words never before in any conversation with krishna he must have used these words even without studying mahabharata we can probably say that we can guess prapannam i surrender to you that's what he says and uh, <clears throat> and then but krishna doesn't teach him he says things like kutastva kashmalam idam kutastva kashmalam idam vishame samupastitam klai um, kshudram hridaya dodbhalyam tyakto tishta parantap what is this this kind of arjuna i have never seen before and uh, so this is ridiculous come on get up sometimes we just say our children also so what's what's all this now you have to wake up and get you to school you have to go to school enough you already been uh, you know wasting 20 minutes now and i you have not been allowing me to do my job and neither are you out of your bed come on now is the time to get up okay and so that is the kind of uh, lecture that uh, krishna gives not even lecture just two shlokas here and klaibhyam klaibhyam you are like a neither like a man nor a woman this is the kind of insult that's that's been heaped on arjuna and uh, he didn't start teaching and uh, in the beginning only when that's why only when somebody comes to a teacher and says i want to learn that's the time teacher teaches otherwise they have no nobody will go around talking about this this particular teaching and uh, <clears throat> and so and krishna starts the bold statement very bold statement that uh, there is no legitimate reason for grief a statement that no psychologist will agree correct no human being also may will agree they start thinking is what do you mean no legitimate reason for grief <laughs> this is a this is this is a totally wrong statement correct and uh, that is how he starts and uh, but that's the beauty of the shastra shastra has to say something that is that's just uh, what shall i say revolutionary it has to be very different it is not a shastram should not be solving a topical problem the problem that is topical problem means what a, a current problem water shortage okay it's a topical problem we have to address this problem government has to address it whether it is taking some measures citizens have to take some measures etc the desalination plant this whatever think through all those things solve the problem okay and then once the problem is solved it won't appear again and if it appears we'll we'll solve it again okay it's a topical problem but <clears throat> shastram means it has to address a fundamental problem other only then it will be called as scriptures otherwise it is not shastra and so that is what we are entering here and uh, <clears throat> making that bold statement and he says hey why atma cannot be sorrowful cannot suffer sorrow that is because atma is neither a karta nor karma atma is neither a doer nor a experiencer doership kartrutvam experiencership means i am the object of experience experience targets me and therefore i am called what object object in in sanskrit is called karma so i am neither karta nor karma karma means object here not the action karma okay and so neither i i am a doer nor anything can be done to me correct this is the this is the thesis this is what he says he says that in uh, what shall we say uh, 19th shloka look at that 
ಯಂ ವೇತಿ ಹಂತಾರ ಯಶ್ಚೈನ ಮನ್ಯತೆ ಹತಂ ಉಭೌ ತೌ ನ ವಿಜಾನೀತ ನಾಂ ಹಂತಿ ನ ಹನ್ಯತೆ ಅಯಂ ನ ಹಂತಿ ಅಯಂ ನ ಹಂತಿ ಮೀನ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಕಿಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಡ್ರಾಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಅಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಅಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗೈ ಹೂ ಹಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಯೂಮೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅವರ್ ಕಿಲ್ ನಾರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿ ಕಿಲ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವರಿಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಅನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಯಾ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಡೂ ಅನ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸಫರ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆತ್ಮ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕಿಲ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ರೀಪ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕಿಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಸಾರೋ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಸಾರೋ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಸಾರೋ ದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂಸ್ ವರಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಅ ಮಾರ್ಟಲ್ ಐ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದಿ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಎನಿ ಡೇ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಎನಿ ಡೇ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸಾರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಹರ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಿಲ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇ ಸೇ ಸೊ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ನೈನಂ ಛಂದಂತಿ ಶಸ್ತ್ರಾಣಿ ವೆಪನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಿಲ್ ನೋ ಡೌಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಆತ್ಮ ವೆಪನ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಟಚ್ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಐ ಗೇವ್ ಅ ಬಿಗ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಟಚ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಅಂಬಡಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಓ ನನೋ ಆತ್ಮ ಯಾ ಓಕೆ ವೆಪನ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಟಚ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಬಟ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಆತ್ಮ even thinking of atma is not possible atma is cannot be an object of even thought he says avyakto yam achintyoyam very important statement number 25 achintya ayam atma achintya achintya means can't even think of atma how can how can we understand atma without thinking about atma this is brahma vidya atma vidya which means you are without thinking of atma where is the question of atma vidya this is a question that should arise to us yeah that is why that is why this shastra is so unique that you can that is why implied statements all the statements are implied all pervasive atma and this atma who is the thinker and who is manifest as the thinker is have has to learn about atma which is achintya okay not an object at all cannot be an object even of thought even of a thought that is the idea that is the meaning of objectification and that achintya i am achintya and that is also the reason why science cannot approach vedanta there is a lot of talk about you know science and vedanta how vedanta is scientific and how science is fast approaching advaita vedanta achintya science needs something that is chintya correct science has to make an observation has to make measurements has to take a microscope scope and look at things without something to look at there is no science correct therefore science and advaita vedanta really cannot meet really cannot meet rational science is rational advaita vedanta is also rational but doesn't mean they will have a meeting point correct something to think about please think about it okay and uh, so if atma is not the karma object atma should be karta no atma is not the karta come look at 21 veda vinashinam nityam ya enam ajam abhyayam katham cha purusha partha kam ghatayati hanti kam kam hanti how can atma kill how can atma make somebody kill make somebody do an act of killing that is a, that is being said here 
So literal meaning is that. But then implied meaning is what? How can Atma do anything? How can Atma be a karta? Vyayaha, Nityaha, and Sarvagataha, all pervasive, that all pervasive Atma. And uh, Abhyayam, unchanging, nir, Nirvikaraha Atma cannot be karta. That is a thesis. That is the thesis of Krishna's uh, teaching here. And so, therefore, Atma is neither karma nor karta. Bold statement. Arjuna would not have understood this. Because it's too, uh, too much too soon. Correct? Too much too soon. But it's like reading a summary of an article. A big journal article. Somebody sent me a journal article about uh, a professor in Belgium. Balagangadra. Very good work he does on, uh, on culture and col col colonialization, colonialism and how it impacts people and the Western worldview and everything. Right? So very but his article is so difficult to read. So that academic language is, I couldn't understand. And so I said, let me read the summary. So I went to the top. And summary was difficult to understand. Then I said, let me read the conclusion. I came to the last page. And last two paragraphs, generally they'll give a conclusion. <laughs> let me read the conclusion. <laughs> then I picked up a few things. Then I sent back my comments to, the, to my friend who sent it. I said, is this what the author is saying? <laughs> And he said, yeah, that's what Atri is saying. And so, so therefore, here, you know, begins with a bang. And uh, so that's how the teaching starts. And then, uh, then again, Arjuna's question, Stita Prajnasika Bhasha. Arjuna picked up, okay, there is something like this and knowledge is there. And he himself uses the word Stita Prajnaha. Prajnaha, knowledge, Stita Prajnaha. One who, who knows it all. And therefore, one who is unaffected. And uh, who is that person? And Krishna does say, yeah, a person who knows prajahati yada kaman sarvan partha manogatan atmani eva atmana pushtaha. One is happy being oneself. It's a big shift. Because I want to be happy because and then therefore I arrange all, my, all the things in my life so I can be happy. This is my idea of happiness. And Krishna says, yeah, there is another idea of happiness. It is called Atmani Eva Atmana <laughs> Okay, Atmani Eva. And just being oneself. How can I be happy just being myself? Well, that is how it is. Atma. Atma is Ananda Swarupaha. And therefore, whatever happiness you thought you gained is really, is really your own nature. Like that, he indicates by, by that by that shloka. And so, and only later the Mahavakyam will be taught. Tattva Masi is not being said here. And uh, because there's so many more chapters to cover, Ishwara has to be covered. And then how Ishwara is equal to Jiva has to be covered. But the, this is how typically a teaching will start. Even Upanishads. Talking about Atma. Because Atma is the main, main source of concern. Confusion is here and about Atma. And so that confusion is first removed. And then Ishwara is brought. That is a typical way of teaching. And, uh, and so Arjuna is now very clear. Yeah, I got it. I think I am, this is the point I've been searching for. I need to learn this, this uh, Sankhya, this, this, uh, uh, this particular Atma Vidya I have to learn. And he says, come on, let's study. And uh, why are you asking me to fight them? Hey, nice, nice job. Arjuna is, uh, is trying to escape now. And uh, so great, teach me now. Let's, uh, let's go to a quiet place. It's a bit noisy here. They're blowing all this conscious and all that. And all these new people, recruits, you know. New recruits, they don't know how to behave and all. They'll just be jumping and up and down. And, and uh, they, they are not afraid. These warriors and all, they may be, they may, fear of death will be there, no doubt. But they are here to fight. They are trained to fight. And so they are saying, come on, let's, let's uh, give the green signal. Green signal has not come yet. So we have a few, a little more, a few more time. So now is the time to just, you know, do whatever you have to do while you are in the battlefield before the war starts. All that is going on. So let's go. Let's go to Rishikesh. And uh, this is Arjuna's thinking. 
the thing is <clears throat> he knows about sanyasa his father also left the kingdom and so he thinks is the right thing to do is to now go the time has come thank you krishna for reminding me and uh, so now is the time for us to go and you come along with me also because you i need a teacher no point going to rishikesh with you without a teacher and so i need a teacher you are there and so let's just carry it also is there just let's take a turn like this and then just go take off right mm -hmm. and uh, and so i don't think krishna uh, would have done that and so that's how the teaching starts here and uh, <clears throat> so the confusion for arjuna is arjuna knows about atma being akarta the introduction has been given and so in order atma is akarta means i have to start do, doing it that's his idea correct i must stop atma is akarta atma is not a doer therefore i should not do anything correct therefore i must study stop all actions surrender everything and put on the sanyasa vesha and let's go that's the idea that's all he that's all uh, i mean he's no different than any of us and so that's what he could he could conclude and so that that sanyasa he started suddenly started getting interested in sanyasa so krishna had to tell him that a hey, taking sanyasa anybody can take no doubt but what are the circumstances that make one take sanyasa that is also important this is not the right circumstance being frustrated and being not able being un unable to resolve conflict that is not the reason to take sanyasa hey arjuna okay and uh, you know there are people we know that who have run away from our homes and then never return back and uh, and so that also is there but uh, no that's not the reason there is a reason sanyasa has a reason there is a reason one who has already grown out of things out of karma out of the out of the need to need to gain any antakarana should be so all that is gained then that person is qualified to take sanyasa all that he will explain <clears throat> and so uh so krishna has a great job to do what a hey, you have to do your duty this is the shastram always says duty is important dharma is important but at the same time knowledge alone liberates doing duty duty does not liberate knowledge only liberates a person duty always is binding binding you have to do what's binding but you must know you must pursue knowledge in order to in order to liberate yourself from that so called bondage is to other so this constantly krishna has to straddle this straddle this that is the that is the beauty of this shastram and uh, and so so in the third chapter krishna talks about this two fold lifestyle lokes in vividha nishta and prompted by arjuna's question arjuna's question is hey, you are praising knowledge jayasi chet karmanaste mata buddhir janatana tat kim karmani ghorema if knowledge is, is is what is needed because uh, if only knowledge can remove ignorance no amount of karma can remove ignorance then why are you saying uttishtata uttishtata you saying uttishta arjuna like that you said so many times get up and fight and uh, i don't understand that's what he says and so two types of lifestyles were discussed very important shloka lokesmin dividha nishta पुरा प्रोक्ता मयानग नंबर थ्री ज्ञान योगेन सांख्यान कर्म योगेन योगिना ओके सो द एंटायर भगवद गीता हेल्प्स अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस कर्म योग ज्ञान करेक्ट दैट्स व्हाट दैट्स व्हाट इट इज एंड एंड सो एंड सो दिस कर्म योग इज फॉर द जीवा ओनली ज्ञान योग इज फॉर जीवा नॉट फॉर ईश्वर एंड देयरफॉर that tvampada so all the way second chapter also is tvampada only meant for meant for the jiva and uh, and so he talks about uh, karma yoga in this chapter in chapter number 
and it talks about the attitude how one should now <clears throat> continue to lead a life but with an attitude which will help me help me appreciate what the shastram is going to talk about later so which means the shastram is saying we we have to be emotionally strong we have to build ourselves emotionally i cannot just be childish all my life very interesting shastram is not is not giving me a shortcut correct and very amazing it is i must be a normal person first i must know how to relate to people i must know how to respond to situations if i don't know how to deal with the situation that is fine we are all not you know sarvajnas we are not ishvara therefore we will not know how to deal with all situations but we must know a mature way to respond that is what krishna is saying there is no shortcut here however trying a situation is and i may be i may be feeling vulnerable but it does not mean i can act immaturely that's the idea here so so first become like that become a karma yogi first and how do i become a karma yogi then samattvam yoga uchyate and uh, and then uh, <clears throat> and then in one shloka here in the third chapter so number 30 is a good one to look at mai sarvani karmani sanyasya all actions i do surrender to me that is what he says do it as a surrender do it as an offering that is why puja and all we do very important offering how do you how do you do karma as an offering if somebody asks it is very difficult to answer that question that is why once but as a child is born in this culture and knows about puja and aradhana and all that and knows about prasada and all that then this ishwarapana buddhi prasada buddhi already explained no need to no need to talk much other than to say that it is important offer it offer it think of what you are you are going to do as ishwara and then act as though you are offering a flower yes get up in the morning flower and then think about what to do next another flower i am offering do start your vehicle offering another flower amazing it is we have to we have to think like that that is it this is what is ishwarapana buddhi and every time oh the vehicle is starting prasada buddhi okay vehicle is not starting prasada buddhi <laughs> see that you can't get prasada buddhi unless you have prasada buddhi on on the things that happen favorably okay first start practicing that and so therefore here mai sarvani karmani samyasya uh, adhyatma chetasa so and then uh, nirashir nirmamo bhutva yudhyasya vigata jvaraha nirashihi nirashihi prasada buddhi nirashihi means expect anything to happen expect anything to happen you have done the best beyond uh, you no, you can't do anything more and so anything can happen now expect 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 the, the unknown also and therefore irashihi nirmama prasad buddhi ishwara buddhi yudhyasva vigata jvaraha fight giving up all anxiety okay this this is not just fight every day we need to tell this to ourselves and so i can the day can be done properly uh, can be led pro- properly and uh, <clears throat> so that is karma yoga and uh, karma yoga is not for ishwara of course and it's for the jiva and uh, then in the fourth chapter he continues continues uh, and he talks about uh, this particular teaching and he says imam vivasvate yogam and i have been teaching this from to sun the surya that you you worship saying aditya hridayam that surya also i taught he says okay now this is not the first time krishna is saying i taught the same thing before earlier also he said it where did he say it i 
I taught before. Any ideas? Imam Vivaswate Yogam, fourth chapter. So I taught this to Vivaswan and then Vivaswan taught Manu, etc. He say, but without giving names, he said the same thing before. You know where he said? Third chapter, first line of Krishna. Lokesmin Divida Nishta Pura Prokta Maya Anagha. What is that? Prokta taught Maya by me. Pura long ago. Long ago. He said that. He has already given that. That he is not an ordinary person. I've been teaching the same thing for a long time. And it is my karma that now I have to teach you in this battlefield. Okay. And those days in the air-conditioned room, I was sitting and then teaching. Now in this war, in this noisy environment. Okay. So he's already said that. And, uh, and then, of course, Avatara is, uh, Avatara Vada is talked about. And uh, the birth of Krishna and all he says. And uh, not directly related with Atma Vidya. Uh, and then, so he says, Atma Maya, Ajopi San, even though Atma is unborn, and even though you are born and you don't know what your karma is, my birth is very different. And that's why I can, I know all past karmas. And Ajopi San Navyayatma, Bhutanam Ishwaropi San, Prakritim Swam Adhishtaya Sambhavami Atma Mayaya. So he introduces the word Maya there. And Atma Mayaya, because I am Sarvajna and Maya is now under my control, therefore I can. Sambhavami yuge yuge. I can come anytime. Anytime I want when the dharma is, dharma needs help, I will come. Somebody say, ask the question, Swami Atma Tiptananda Ji. I was talking to him the other day and I invited him to, you know, say, tell you all a few words one day. So he said he'll come. He got affected by Corona recently. And uh, he's, the, he's the Swami who said, uh, what is the date of birth of Arjuna, right? That's Swami, correct? What is the date of birth of Arjuna? You forgot. <laughs> yeah, Nara. Nara Inji, go ahead. Unmute yourself. <laughs> so, so, I mean, there are two dates of birth of the start of the Mahabharata war. One is okay. 3500 BCE and one is 5200 BCE. So, uh, at the day, start of the Mahabharata was both Krishna and Arjuna were close to about 70 years. Okay, good. So, that, that's based on a lot of research. Okay, <laughs> Narayanji's answer. But uh, Krishna tells what is the date of birth. Okay, what is the date of birth? Bahuni me vyatitani janmani tava charjuna. Charjun, date of birth is charjun, 4th June. Whatever year, Narayanji has said some year, okay, uh, 3500 uh, BCE, etc. Charjuna, okay, which is what? Fourth chapter, which, which shloka is that? You should remember that. And uh, that is, uh, yeah, number five, okay, for 4.5. Tava Charjuna, so it's fourth June. So this is our Swami, Swamiji, and uh, Anyway, he's, uh, he said another joke, and I'll tell that joke when I introduce Swami. Okay, I'll reserve it, that joke for later. Okay, and uh, so uh, that discussion of Avataravada happened in that in the fourth chapter, and then he is going to talk about this doership some more in that chapter, and uh, that chapter is called Jnana Karma Sanyasa. Uh -huh. Very important chapter. Uh, I mean, many chapters are important. So, that sannyasa is talked about here. What sannyasa? Karma sannyasa. Karma sannyasa means what? Giving up of karma. Giving up of karma means what? Giving up of doership. Kartritvam. And what kind of kartritvam? And uh, it's, it's jnana karma sannyasa. Jnanena karma sannyasa means by knowledge giving up <coughs> doership. So this is the confusion Arjuna had. Arjuna thought 
of karma sannyasa. Karma sannyasa means give up all activities. And in our shastram, that's a very important concept. Sannyasi means giving up all duties. No duties are there for a sannyas. So everybody knows, every average person knows about that in India. That sannyasi means the person is completely absolved of all duties. Person walks away from family, no more family duties, no more voting, no more all this right, uh, the duty to vote and all that, and nothing. No duty towards anybody whatsoever. No questions asked. And that's a sannyasa. And Arjuna was thinking, that is the only way to, you know, that is the only way. And uh, Krishna is reminding him in this chapter that, uh, that uh, this karma really cannot be given up. So earlier he had already said, Nahi kaschit kshanamati jatu tishthati akarma krit. Hey, you can sit under a tree, Arjuna, but really speaking, nobody can give up karma even for a second. Correct? Give activity. There is no question of giving up activity. You can sit under a tree, but your mind will be just running around like this. So there is no question of giving up activity. And don't call that a sannyasa. Sannyasa means jnana karma sannyasa. By knowledge only, it can be given up. And we will see more of that in the next class. So that's how the, the that's how Krishna is unfolding this vision to Arjuna. And, uh, and so, yeah, we'll continue this in the next class. And... Uh, We should be able to finish it. Uh, we won't even need the full class to finish. So we will do that. So in summary, chapter 1 to 6 is about the jiva, is about the twampada, twampada of the Mahavakyam, tat twam asi. And that's why we are spending some time recalling the main messages of these chapters. Okay. Om Swasti Prajabhya Paripala Yantam Nyayena Margena Mahim Mahisha Go Brahmane Pyashubhamastu Nityam Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Kale Vashatu Parjanyaha Prithivi Sasya Shalini Desho Yam Kshobharahitaha Brahmana Santu Nidhayaha Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhadra Nipashyantu Makaschit Dukkha Bhag Bhavet Asato Ma Sadgamaya Tamaso Ma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityor Ma Amartangamaya Om Pur Namadaf Pur Namidam Pur Nat Pur Namudachyate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Pyo Namaha Harihi Om Thank you.